For those with monoamine oxidase, a single nucleotide polymorphism who get panic attacks from testosterone, how would you recommend treating this? And he suggests pregnenolone, CBD, magnesium, etc. This video is sponsored by Mizumi, the number one pick for men on TRT. Shop now at Mizumi's using the link in the description under this video. Yes, well, that's a good question. That's, that's well addressed in uh, the testosterone in the top Bible. Um, Dr. Uh, Rob Kamianeri had a good section in the top Bible regarding that. And it's, it's been his experiences, and along with mine, that if you have a patient experiencing some anxieties, and the research indicates that about 37%, so more than a third, of men have that monoamine oxidase SNP. And they're going to have a difficult time uh, with the anxieties with testosterone. So, yes, the first thing I do if a patient reports those symptoms to me is I tell them, you know, pregnenolone and magnesium first and foremost. Okay. I've never had a bad outcome. There's really no downsides to pregnenolone. You're either going to feel it or you won't. Some people don't like it. But there's no such thing as pregnenolone toxicity. Um, I think everybody should be in at least 100 milligrams of pregnenolone uh, daily. That's the way I feel, both men and women. Uh, magnesium is very, very important. As we know, it's involved in over 800 enzymatic or meta metabolic processes in our biochemistry. Uh, up from the 300, we thought it was involved with. There's a bunch of different magnesiums, however, at least seven or 10 that I'm aware of, maybe more. But there are different magnesiums which are more bioavailable, uh, such as glycinate, uh, bisglycinate, uh, threonate, uh, mag threonate is the only one that really has no problems crossing the blood brain barrier. So, given that, if I have a patient that has anxieties, which basically come from the brain, correct? I use uh, magnesium threonate in doses starting at three to 400 mg a day, but then I try to get the patient to 750 to 1,000 milligrams of magnesium threonate daily to help assuage the anxieties that a third of men feel come on with testosterone optimization therapy. Now you mentioned CBD. You know, I'm a I'm a Florida I'm a Florida authorizing physician for medical cannabis. I think you know that by now. So I, I see a lot of patients, and I have the practice where I do the testosterone optimization for my age management men, and I have another side of my practice where I do uh, cannabis uh, you know recommendations. And my research as an endocannabinoid scientist now, and one that subscribes to the journals in textbooks of endocannabinoid medicine, CBD in particular has been found to be very, very, very beneficial. We didn't know back in the days when, when I was in medical school that there was even an endocannabinoid system in the human body. Now that we know there is, I find that if I can take my men who aren't quite dialed in on the pregnenolone and uh, magnesium supplementation, then I recommend a straight oral uh, CBD component. And the higher the milligram strength of CBD they can get, uh, the more likely I'm gonna balance their endocannabinoid system uh, in, in, you know, innately. And that helps me help the patient hormonally because the, uh, the cannabinoid system, they act kind of like paracrine hormones. Uh, so yeah, I find, and I wish I was easier for me to take the two different two schools, the, the cannabis side and the hormone side, and bring them together. But now in my, in my short now two years of doing cannabinoid medicine, I have found, uh, and thanks for uh, mentioning it, the CBD component. Again, if magnesium and pregnenolone doesn't do the trick. Now, I also, first of all, <laughs> gauge and I'll manipulate milligram strength of pregnant alone and magnesium but then if i don't get the relief i'm looking for then nine times out of ten if i suggest medical cannabis to the patient 
the anxieties are allayed. Mm -hmm. Okay. No SSRIs, uh, I guess. Pardon me. No SSRIs, I guess. No, I'm 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 not a proponent of uh, psychopharmacology. I think SSRIs are a joke. Um, they don't they don't cure any uh, neurotransmitter imbalance, but they will create one. Mm -hmm. I'm anti uh, uh, psych, uh, psychological meds. Uh, there's a place in it for short term, but no, not long term. SSRIs, you know, put your man's penis in the dirt too. <laughs> <laughs>